Over the past several years, Nikon has staged an impressive resurgence in the mirrorless camera market with its Z-Series lineup. The launch of the Z9 redefined professional full-frame photography with its shutterless design, cutting-edge processing, and unrivaled performance. The Z8 extended near-flagship capabilities into a smaller, more portable body, catering to professionals who demand speed and flexibility without the bulk of a true flagship. Meanwhile, the ZF demonstrated Nikon's mastery of retro-inspired ergonomics, appealing to photographers who value tactile controls and classic handling. Despite these successes, however, there has been a noticeable silence surrounding the long-anticipated successor to the Z7 series, the rumored Nikon Z7 III. For many photographers and enthusiasts, this quiet has led to questions, has Nikon lost momentum, or is the delay part of a more considered strategy? To understand the situation, it's helpful to trace the evolution of Nikon's mirrorless strategy and the role the Z7 series has historically played. The original Nikon Z7, introduced in 2018, was Nikon's first major entry into the high-resolution, photography-centric full-frame mirrorless segment. It was designed to deliver unparalleled image quality, exceptional color rendition, and a level of detail that quickly earned it a dedicated following. With the Z7, Nikon focused squarely on photographers who demanded precision and fidelity in their still images. The Z7 II, its immediate successor, refined that formula further, adding dual processors for improved speed, enhanced autofocus performance, and greater reliability. This iteration cemented the Z7 line as a top choice for landscape, studio, and portrait photography, and for a time, it seemed that Nikon's high-resolution mirrorless strategy was unstoppable. Yet, here we are in 2025, with no official announcements regarding a Z7 III or Z7 III, leaving loyal users to wonder why this flagship high-resolution line appears to have stalled. Meanwhile, competitors have advanced rapidly, reshaping expectations for what high-resolution mirrorless cameras should offer. Sony's A7RV combines a 61-megapixel sensor with sophisticated AI-driven autofocus and in-body stabilization, while Canon's EOS R5 merges high-resolution stills with professional-grade video capabilities. Even within Nikon's own ecosystem, the Z8 and Z9 have shifted expectations for mirrorless performance, offering hybrid capabilities that appeal to both photographers and videographers. In contrast, the Z7 series, despite its dedicated following, now seems frozen in time, a camera line tailored for a niche audience that is increasingly overshadowed by the demand for hybrid systems. Professionals today often require a camera that can handle both high-resolution photography and advanced video workflows without compromise, leaving the Z7 series in a difficult position if it fails to adapt. Industry speculation regarding the delay of the Z7 successor is varied. One theory suggests that Nikon may be reconsidering the Z7 branding altogether, potentially reimagining the high-resolution series under new names such as ZDR or ZF. This could allow the company to align the line more closely with hybrid and cinema-oriented cameras, blurring the distinction between stills-focused bodies and versatile video-capable tools. Another theory is that the Z7 series is facing a product identity challenge. Originally conceived as a pure photography tool, a high-resolution stills camera now competes with hybrid models that offer cinematic video, fast burst rates, and advanced autofocus. While the niche for dedicated high-resolution shooters remains significant, ignoring the hybrid trend risks losing market share to competitors like Sony and Panasonic. Sony's A7RV, for instance, combines extreme resolution, AI-enhanced autofocus, and reliable performance in a compact, travel-friendly body, while Panasonic's S1R continues to appeal to professionals seeking high-resolution precision. Nikon, which once dominated this segment with the D850, now faces the challenge of reclaiming that audience in a market that has evolved considerably. Timing has long been a crucial element in Nikon's mirrorless strategy, and it hasn't always been perfect. The company initially lagged behind in the mirrorless race, then rushed the Z6 and Z7 to market, only to refine them later with updates and successors. With the Z9 and Z8, Nikon regained significant momentum, delivering innovations that resonated with professional users. Yet, the Z7 III, or the Z7 III, as it is commonly rumored, has not yet emerged, creating a sense of uncertainty among loyal customers. Adding to the complexity is Nikon's collaboration with Red Digital Cinema, which suggests that resources may now be prioritized for integrating advanced video technology into future models. While this partnership enhances Nikon's hybrid capabilities, it also helps explain why a photography-first high-resolution Z7 III remains absent from the market. 
The Z7 line has always been about photography, pure and simple. Unlike the Z8, Z9, and ZF, which increasingly cater to hybrid workflows with raw video recording, high-speed burst shooting, and professional-grade autofocus, the Z7 series has been designed to serve photographers focused on still imagery. In a market dominated by versatile hybrid systems, Nikon faces a strategic dilemma. Releasing a new high-resolution camera now carries the risk of appearing out of step with professional workflows, yet failing to provide a dedicated photography tool risks alienating its core audience. Professionals who value high-resolution performance, precise autofocus, and ergonomic design might turn to competitors if Nikon does not deliver a compelling option. The signs pointing to a forthcoming update are subtle but meaningful. The Z7 II has frequently been offered at discounted rates, bundled with accessories, and promoted heavily in retail channels. Such activity often signals that a replacement model is in development. This pattern suggests that Nikon may be taking additional time to ensure that the new camera delivers both technical excellence and relevance in today's competitive market. Delays, while frustrating for users, may therefore reflect strategic timing and careful consideration rather than production issues. Nikon's focus on hybrid performance is evident across its recent releases. The Z8 has delivered Z9-level performance in a smaller, more portable package, while the Z6 III maintains a balance between stills and video for the mid-tier professional segment. Looking forward, the rumored Z9 II, or Z7 III successor, could represent the culmination of these lessons. By merging the high-resolution strengths of the Z7 line with the hybrid insights gained from the Z8 and Z9, Nikon has the opportunity to produce a camera that satisfies both traditional photographers and users seeking versatile hybrid functionality. Software and firmware development have become as important as hardware improvements in modern mirrorless systems. Nikon's Z8 and Z9 benefited from firmware updates that enhanced autofocus algorithms, improved subject tracking, and added new video features long after the camera's initial release. This ongoing commitment to refinement has strengthened trust among Nikon users, a relationship that was occasionally fragile in the past. For the Z7 III or Z9 II, a similar philosophy appears to guide development, a high-resolution flagship that evolves with the user, incorporating improvements in image processing, color science, and lens compatibility. The goal is to deliver a cohesive experience that integrates seamlessly into Nikon's broader ecosystem. Market timing remains critical. With Canon's R1 and Sony's rumored A12 yet to reach consumers, Nikon has a window to assert itself in the professional high-resolution segment. Launching a new Z-Series flagship now allows Nikon to stake a claim before competitors solidify their offerings. This strategy prioritizes delivering the right tool at the right moment rather than chasing flashy specifications or headline-grabbing features. It demonstrates Nikon's understanding of professional needs and the realities of a competitive mirrorless landscape. In summary, the Nikon Z7 series has always represented the pinnacle of high-resolution stills photography within Nikon's mirrorless ecosystem. While the absence of a Z7 III or Z9 II successor has fueled speculation and impatience, the broader context suggests a deliberate and strategic approach. The next high-resolution Z series camera is not merely about catching up, it is about delivering a carefully calibrated combination of imaging performance, hybrid capability, and ecosystem integration. By balancing the needs of legacy photographers with the demands of modern hybrid workflows, Nikon aims to maintain its leadership, satisfy dedicated users, and reclaim its standing in the high-resolution mirrorless market. When the successor finally arrives, it may do so quietly, but it will exemplify Nikon's commitment to thoughtful design, precision engineering, and professional-grade performance, proving that timing and refinement are often the true hallmarks of greatness.